A lot of people tend to think that there's no emotional attachment or any healing that can be done through anime. Well, I'm here to tell you some stories that prove that emotional healing can be done through anime. So a lot of people tend to associate anime with the new flavor of the week or the new hot shonen for kids to get into or the new hot trend that it is or just some weird Japanese cartoon. Outside of anime fans, has anyone actually sat down and considered that emotional healing can be done through anime just like with art, movies, and everything else in that kind of art form? Anime allows people to express their feelings. It allows people to actually sit down and maybe cry out what's been in their system. It allows them to express that feeling of sadness, sit down and let out all those inner feelings. It, or it can even grant happiness, give people joy in their life, or let them forget about a 15 minute problem, or for 25 minutes they forget you know, everything they experienced that day that was horrible, or for the last couple of days they've been experiencing things. Let me tell you the story of, from my perspective of what anime has done for me. During high school, there was an anime that came out called Love Life School Idol Project. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, it's just an idol show, they're just dancing around and they don't really do anything. No, for those who watch the show, they understand there's actual passion, sadness, emotion in this show. It follows a girl named Hanukkah who starts a school idol group to try and stop her school from closing a school that she loves near and dear where her and her friends have made all these memories so she gets her friends and they end up starting this group in an attempt to save the school and they actually end up doing it and through this they find more friends they end up telling the, each other stories where their background all their differences from being bullied from what how they look and how they dress to being emotionally distant because of they moved and everything it touches on a lot of bases and it relates and for me Nozomi Tojo is the one that relates to me the most in that show because just like her, I ended up moving schools, not really getting to know anyone until my senior year of high school. That's where it hit home. That's where it really touched me a lot that this person could be drawn in such a way and be built as a character in such a way that I can relate to it as someone who's not, you know, not in the universe or anything like that. And because of that, it allowed me to show who I am, be myself, and get motivation and courage to go on and do things that I wouldn't have normally done and have the motivation to complete things and achieve goals that I will, would love to do for the rest of my life. Anime has and can impact life for the better. And it's a different case by case basis, but a lot of people have been given courage and motivation, as I said before. And I've stated this time and time again on streams, movies, and everything. People of all ages can learn from anime. They can learn life lessons. It just depends on when it hits at the right time. And I feel like everyone watches this form of media at the right time in their life where they benefit from it. People learn from how to accepting themselves, to pushing through, finding courage, as I've stated before, finding true friends, finding their real self, learning how to accept themselves, and even accepting death. And I'm going to read another story that was submitted to me, and I did an all call on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and all a bunch of places for people to submit stories, and I picked a couple out that would fit, you know, the tomb, and I'm going to read one. So, healing through anime. It's going to be a long story, however, the most recent event or trial as you would call it, was when my dad passed away. I was watching Mugen Train in the scene where Rengoku, who lived his whole life to do his best as his mother would have wanted, he asks his mom as he's passing away, did I make you proud? And all he sees is a smile and then he smiles back to her. This struck a chord with me because I believe on the night of my dad's passing, I believe God, the Holy Spirit, sent him to my dream and that the dream was of my dad coming to the, my place of work at that time and said, hey, I do not have much time, but I want to say I love you. And then he hugged me tight and then he started walking away and he said, I will see you again soon. Because of this, I was able to overcome it perfect example of learning a life lesson and emotional healing through anime something being there at the right place at the right time and some of these lessons might not pop up until later on in life when a when an event occurs the next story i'm going to read to you is about something that someone learned through persona 3 and the the movies that came out and it taught them how to deal with death later on in their life way after they watched it but it kicked in at that moment when my father passed away a couple years ago i was not sure how to process what happened and that's when i realized that persona 3 the movies and the game actually helped me realize how to accept death how to deal with it as one of the main characters ends up passing away all the characters had to learn how to deal with grief how to handle the situation especially being so close to this character that's when i realized in my life those lessons kicked in and it helped me get over my father and helped me deal with such a traumatic experience in my life and it actually helped me emotionally heal from the situation and I, I have to thank persona 3 for that the movies especially for that 
Now, up to this point, some people might not be convinced that anime can do such a thing. Even though art has been known to do that, movies have been known to do that, TV shows have been known to do that. But people are hesitant when it comes to the anime, you know, world and everything that we do in the anime industry, I suppose. So let me give you an example of courage that was found through Ghibli films. Courage that allowed someone to get out of a very dangerous and sticky situation that they accredit anime to helping them find that courage to. I was with my ex for five years. We got engaged and we quickly moved in together. It was one of the worst decisions I ever, ma ever made. He was a narcissistic, manipulative, and he cheated on me multiple times. For whatever reason, I got into Ghibli films and Howl's Moving Castle stayed with me. It was about a woman going off on her own to find her own life. Life. At first, it was to get rid of a curse she had, but it ended up being a realization of love and what you would do for love. I could relate a person in my life to each of the characters in the movie, and it helped me get courage to leave my ex, fly to North Carolina, and be with my Hal. Hal's Moving Castle is my Roman Empire. I would watch it on repeat while lying on the floor in my tub, crying and eating Chef Barrio D straight from a can. I was held hostage in my apartment, wasn't allowed to get a job, have no money, have no friends. And Howl's Moving Castle made me feel like I could do whatever I wanted. It gave me the courage. So I bought a plane ticket, and I said, fuck it. I have one last story for you that somehow still doesn't convince you that anime can do emotional healing. People can heal through anime. It's about how some person figured out how they can finally accept their true selves and how they can find people who will accept them for them and how they overcame a bunch of challenges in their life because of an anime. Persona 4, the animation and the game have a very important place in my life. I was able to learn that I could accept myself for who I am and the friends along the way will show themselves and be true friends to me. After high school, I was experiencing a self-identity crisis per se. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know how, what I should do. I didn't know how to ex actually accept who I was. Then I discovered Persona 4, the game and the animation of it. Throughout the show, you see these characters face their inner demons per se, and they had to face their shadow selves, learning how to accept themselves for who they are and the parts of themselves they would wanted to reject for the past. And it really resonated with me that it's okay to be me. I can be myself and the people around me that mean the most to me and true friends will come along the way that I finally were able to accept that. And I found true friends that I call brothers and sisters all because of this show. It taught me how to accept myself and it taught me how to be who I am. So Persona 4, the animation, and Persona 4, the game, really do all hold a good, important part of my life, and it allowed me to emotionally heal, and allowed me to emotionally accept myself. So I think I've given you enough evidence to prove that emotional healing can be caused and happen through anime. Just like with books, like the Harry Potter series, the Chronicle of Narnia series. Just like how movies touch people. A lot of people say they heal through romance movies, stuff by Nicholas Sparks, and a lot of those kind of romance movies come to mind. But people never give anime the light of day, saying that anime can do the same thing for them. And I think all the evidence I've given you has proven otherwise. And there's a lot of people that have recovered and healed through anime. And I also stand by the fact that you can learn life lessons and it can impact you in a positive way. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the messages and the stories that people shared. If you want to share your stories down below, feel free. You do not have to, but I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.